हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर डूइंग चैप्टर नंबर थर्टीन रेक्टिलीनियर फिगर्स एक्सरसाइज थर्टीन पॉइंट वन टिल क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन वी हैव डन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो नाउ वी आर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर एट इन द गिवन फिगर ए बी सी डी इज अ ट्रेपीजियम फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई हेयर ट्रेपीजियम इज गिवन एंड दीज टू एंगल्स आर गिवन दीज टू एंगल्स आर गिवन वी हैव टू यूज योर ट्रेपीजियम प्रॉपर्टी इन ट्रेपीजियम द सम ऑफ को इंटीरियर एंगल को इंटीरियर एंगल मीन्स दीज टू आर द पैरल लाइन दिस इज ट्रांसवर्सल दैन दीज टू विल बी द को इंटीरियर एंड दीज टू विल बी द को इंटीरियर द सम ऑफ को इंटीरियर एंगल विल बी वन एटी डिग्री सो विल यूज दिस प्रॉपर्टी हेयर टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई सो फर्स्ट वी विल टेक एंगल ए प्लस एंगल डी इज इक्वल टू वन एटी डिग्री रीजन इज हेयर को इंटीरियर एंगल्स A is x plus twenty, and B is two x plus ten. These two are equal to one eighty degree. So x plus two x will become three x. Twenty plus ten will become thirty, equal to one eighty. This thirty we can shift another side. After shifting to another side, it will go for subtraction. So we will get here three x is equal to one fifty degree. so x value will be 150 divided by 3 is equal to 50 degree so angle x value we got we have we should not find out here a, a and t angle so we can leave now same property we can use for b and c now angle b plus angle c is equal to 180 degree same property here co interior angle B is y and C is ninety two degree equal to one eighty degree. So y value will be one eighty minus ninety two is equal to eighty eight degree. So we got the value of x and y. Next B part of this question in the given figure A B C D is an isosceles trapezium. Find the value of x and y. Isosceles trapezium means these two non parallel side will be equal. and if these two sides are equal then these two angle will be equal these two angle will be equal but first we will use co interior angle property to find out the value of x so first we can take here angle a plus angle d is equal to 180 degree co interior angles a is 2x and d is 3x is equal to 180 degree 5x is equal to 180 degree so x value will be 180 divided by 5 5 3 is 15 and 5 6 is 30 so x value we got 36 degree now angle d is equal to 3 into 36 degree means equal to 108 because it is an isosceles trapezium so angle c and d will be equal because abcd is an isosceles trapezium therefore angle t and angle c will be equal c is y and d just now we have calculated 108 degree so y will be 108 degree Next C part of question number eight. In the given figure, A B C D is a kite and the diagonals intersect at O. If angle D A B, this angle is equal to 112, and angle D C B is equal to 64, find angle O D C. Means this angle we have to find out. Let it is X. Then find angle O B A, this angle, and let it is Y. these two angle we have to find out so first we'll take this triangle triangle bcd in triangle bcd because bc is equal to dc as we know these two side will be equal and these two side will be equal it means this is an isosceles triangle these two sides are equal means these two angle will be equal so this angle also will be x therefore angle C 
CBD is also X. Now we can use angle sum property. So X plus X plus 64 is equal to 180 degree. We are using here angle sum property. So 2x is equal to 180 minus 64. So 2x value will be 116 degree. X value will be 116 by 2 58 degree. So therefore angle ODC is equal to 58 degree. Now same thing we'll do in this triangle also. In triangle ABD because AB is equal to AD so we can write angle ADB is equal to angle ABD equal to Y so this angle also will be Y again we can use angle sum property Y plus Y plus 112 is equal to 180 degree mention the property angle sum property So 2y is equal to 180 minus 112 we will get here 68 degree so y value will be 68 divided by 2 equal to 34 degree so therefore angle OBA is equal to 34 degree. Next we have ninth question first part prove that each angle of a rectangle is 90 degree. So because we know the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal, these two sides are equal and these two sides are equal, it means it is a parallelogram and in a parallelogram opposite angles will be equal. So we can take A is equal to C, B is equal to D. Now we will use angle sum property. By angle sum property of a quadrilateral, The sum of all four interior angle will be 360 degrees. So angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D is equal to 360 degree. Angle A will keep as it is, B also as it is and C we will replace with A because A and C are equal and D we will replace with B. These two are equal. So we got here at 2 angle A plus 2 angle B is equal to 360 degree. 2 we can take out common. So angle A plus angle B equal to 180 degree. This 2 we can shift here and it will divide. And because adjacent angles of a quad, uh, rectangle are equal, so because angle A is equal to angle B, reason is adjacent angles of a rectangle so we can replace this also angle A plus angle A equal to 180 degree so we will get 2 angle A equal to 180 degree so angle A is equal to 90 degree so because angle a and b are equal so angle a equal to angle b and a is equal to c so we can write it equal to c and b is equal to d so we can write equal to angle d and if all the angles is equal to 90 degree and this only we have to prove next ninth question second part if the angles of a quadrilateral are equal prove that it is a rectangle so we have taken here let each angle is equal to x because all the angles are equal now by angle sum property the sum of all interior angle will be 360 degree so angle a plus angle b plus angle c plus angle d equal to 360 degree each angle is equal to x so we can replace it by x equal to 360 degree so 4x is equal to 360 degree so x value will be 360 divided by 4 equal to 90 degree and because each interior angle is equal to 90 degree so we can say this figure is a rectangle therefore a b c d is a rectangle.
नेक्स्ट नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन थर्ड पार्ट इफ द डायगनल्स ऑफ अ रॉम्बस आर इक्वल प्रूव दैट इट इज अ स्क्वायर सो ए बी सी डी इज अ रॉम्बस इट मीन्स ऑल द फोर साइड्स आर इक्वल देन इट्स डायगनल्स आर ऑल्सो इक्वल सो ए सी इज इक्वल टू बी डी नाउ वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट इट इज अ स्क्वायर सो फर्स्ट विल टेक ट्राइंगल ए बी सी एंड ट्राइंगल बी ए डी इन दीज टू ट्राइंगल ए बी इज कॉमन second we can write ad is equal to bc both are equal because it is a rhombus and then we can say ac is equal to bd this is also given in the question diagonals are equal so therefore we can say triangle abc is congruent to triangle bad by side 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 rule because all the three sides are equal so therefore by cpct the rest angles will be same so we can write angle a is equal to angle b this angle is equal to this angle and because these two are the adjacent angle because angle a and b are adjacent angle so their sum will be 180 degree so we can write angle a plus angle b is equal to 180 degree and a and b are equal so we can replace angle a plus angle a equal to 180 degree so two angle a is equal to 180 degree angle a is equal to 90 degree therefore we got here angle a is equal to angle b equal to 90 degree these two angle are equal same way if we take these two triangles so we will get here similarly angle c is equal to angle d equal to 90 degree so all the four interior angles are equal to 90 degree and all the four sides are equal it means this is a square therefore a b c d is a square next we have ninth question fourth part prove that that every diagonal of a rhombus bisect the angles at the vertices so first we have taken ab cd is a rhombus all the four sides are equal and bd is a diagonal we have to show that this bd is bisecting this angle and this angle so we have taken this triangle abd and triangle bcd first we will prove that these two triangles are congruent so in triangle abc abd and bcd ab is equal to bc these two sides are equal even these two sides are equal we can write ad is equal to dc because abcd is a rhombus so all the four sides will be equal and bd is common for both the triangle so therefore by side 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 rule triangle abd is congruent to triangle cbd both the triangles are congruent so by cpct angle abd is equal to angle cbd and angle adb is equal to angle cdp means this angle is equal to this angle and this angle is equal to this angle so therefore bd is bisecting vertex angle same way if we take this diagonal and we will prove these two triangles are congruent then ac is bisecting angle a and d therefore similarly ac is bisecting angle a and angle c 
so we can say therefore every diagonal of a rhombus bisect the vertex angle so in this video we are doing till here remaining questions will continue in the next video thank you for watching this video